to our final show this evening, a comedy, Life with Luigi. This program ran from 1948 to 1953 on CBS. Set right here in Chicago's Italian community in the post-war era, each half-hour episode followed the adventures of Luigi Basco, a young, inexperienced immigrant who by day ran an antique store and who by night attended citizenship classes. Spaghetti restaurant owner Pasquale was constantly attempting to marry Luigi off to his overweight, dim-witted, yet kind-hearted daughter, Rosa. Luigi, on the other hand, was equally determined not to have Pasquale as a father-in-law, as you will see in the next episode. Every episode, as you'll see in just a moment, was told at beginning and end through one of Luigi's letters home to his mom, Mama Bosco, in Italy. Two-time Academy Award nominee and perennial character actor J. Carol Nash played the part of Luigi, the little Italian immigrant, though in real life he was actually the son of an Irish immigrant. Alan Reed played Pasquale, and you'll know Alan Reed as the voice of Fred Flintstone. Hans Conried, the great voice actor, played Schultz, the German immigrant. Along with many other outrageous characters, the show successfully competed for audience share against Bob Hope's The Pepsodent Show. The radio show proved so popular, actually, that it made the jump to t television in 1952, like many others. But despite high ratings, the network, under pressure from Ital Italian-American groups, retooled the show, recasting all the main roles, and naturally the show was soon thereafter canceled due to poor ratings. <laughs> Don't mess with a good thing. And while I'll admit the show's comedy relies very heavily on ethnic stereotypes, it's more importantly highlighting the good-natured, hard-working spirit of the new American citizens. I think it's time to bring this show back and remind everyone of that. So our episode tonight details Luigi's musings on spring, the wholesome red-blooded American girl, and dancing. So without further ado, here's Life with Luigi. We invite you to enjoy life. Life with Luigi, a new comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carroll Nash, and Alan Reed as Pasquale. A year ago, when Luigi Bosco left Italy to start his new life in America, he promised his mother that he would write and tell her about his adventures. So now, let's read Luigi's letters as he writes to Mama Bosco in Italy. Dear Mamma Mia, it's now springtime in Chicago, and that means no more snow and the cold, just like Italy. It means the weather is gonna get nice and warm. You know something, Mamma Mia, it's no difference. Spring is mean the same thing to the people in Italy and the people in America. Days get a little longer and the underwear is getting shorter. Right now, the Americans, they're busy with what they call a spring cleaning. And here is one big difference between America and the old country. In Italy, when a woman is a cleaner house, she's a use a broom, a mop, a soap, a water, and a two strong hands. When American a woman is a cleaner house, she uses only one thing, her husband. <laughs> you know, Mamma Mia, comes the spring, the birds are flying north. Well, as Uncle Pietro always say, who cares where the birds fly as long as the girls stay here? Mamma Mia, American girls, they are really beautiful, very beautiful. Anyway, it's not time now to think of girls because it's the time for me to go out to my night class and see my teacher, Miss Spaulding. Oh, she's so nice. When I'm at the blackboard and Mrs. Spaulding is teaching me a penmanship and holding my hand, I'm getting so nervous I no can move. Oh, Mamma Mia, the chalk is got right by itself. Well, I, I'm going out to school. All right, class, all right. Attention, quiet, please. Now I'll call the roll. 
Mr. Bosco. A present, teacher. Mr. Horowitz. Present. Mr. Olson. Present. Mr. Oh, stop, I give up. Please, Mr. Schultz, don't answer until I call your name. Now, our lesson for today is geography. Taking up the physical aspect of the earth, including the various... Well, zones. when are you going to call my name? <sighs> All right, Mr. Schultz. Now I wouldn't answer. I'm temperamental. Class, please. Now, Mr. Horowitz, our first geography question is, what do we call the imaginary belt that runs around the center of the earth? <laughs> No, Mr. Basco. I don't know. Mr. Olson. I don't know. Mr. Schultz. Don't ask me. I'm no squealer. Mr. Schultz, you're not helping one bit. Now think, class. Think of a great big mass. What time do we give, what name do we give to the thing that goes around the middle? Oh, oh. I know the teacher. I know a teacher. Good for you, Mr. Olson. What is it? A girdle. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's the equator. Believe me, the way the world is falling apart today, it could use a girdle. Class, I just told you what it is. Now, the name of this imaginary line that goes around the earth is called Mr. Bosco. Is it called a Mr. Bosco? No, Mr. Basco, all during the class, you've been staring out the window. What have you been thinking of? You. Ooh. By jumping the Jiminy, here's Spring and Luigi is in love with the teacher. Hoo-ha! Hoo-ha! Hoo-hoo! Oh, Luigi loves Miss Spalding. Luigi loves Miss Spalding. Yeah, Luigi, Luigi loves Miss Spalding. Luigi loves Miss Spalding. Class, please, please. Stop it this minute. I, I'm sorry, Mrs. Spaulding. Uh, I'm sorry I make you nervous. Oh, I, I'm not nervous. Now, uh, back to our lesson. Uh, the equator is a girdle, and it's called Mr. Basco. No, uh, I mean, Mr. Basco is bounded by... Saved by the bell. Class dismissed. And Mr. Schultz, you may remain here with me. I'm too old. Give Luigi a chance. Go on. Good night. Good night. Good night, Good night everybody. everybody. Goodbye. Good night. Heavens, what a class. I want to look at myself. Oh, this is a new lipstick, and it does do something for me. Hey, Luigi, Luigi, wait for me. <sighs> oh, oh, listen to me. I'm breathing like an old accordion that has one squeeze left in the box. Uh, hello, Schultz. Uh, Luigi, I got to apologize for the way I was acting in class. Well, uh, I was acting foolish myself, Schultz. Instead of thinking about geography, my mind was on the little birds flying around together. The squirrels all are playing with each other. The boys and the girls are holding their hands. Ah, you silly you. Sh Schultz, don't the spring mean nothing to you? Sure. That's when I defrost the icebox. Aha, I got it. Luigi, in spring you should go out with a girl. Oh, uh, please, uh, Schultz. Uh, don't start. You're going out with my cousin Wolfgang's daughter, Matilda. Sure. Sure, this Saturday night, you're taking her to the movies. Oh, but to Schultz, I'm gonna never take a girl to the movies. Oh, Luigi, it's the same thing like going by yourself. Only when you go meet the girl, you don't look at the picture. Well, uh, Schultz, why should I go if I am not going to enjoy myself? Uh, stop that, Luigi, now stop. Now, here's Matilda's telephone number. Go ahead, call her up right away, and take her to the movies this Saturday. No, Schultz, thanks. But I think maybe I better not rush. Oh, stop that. Now, don't put it off. 
Remember, he who hesitates never gets to the movies before the prices change. Come on, Luigi, I call Matilda and make the date for you. Uh, but Schultz, uh, I uh, know. No, no, don't be afraid. Are you a man or are you a mousetrap? Well, all right, Schultz, you give me a courage. I'm gonna start the spring off in the right away. This is Saturday night, Luigi's taking a girl to the movies. And uh, you know what the picture we're gonna see, Schultz? What? A picture by the fine Italian boy, the life of Riley. You see, Schultz? I'm making the jokes like you. It's a spring, all right. America, I love you. You like a papa to me. From ocean to ocean. Luigi, my friend. Hello, Luigi. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, hello, Pasquale. Oh, it's a nice day today, hmm? <laughs> Smell that spring. Hey, Luigi. What are you so happy about? Uh, Fall down on your head, maybe? Somebody is a die and leave you $50? Oh, no, Pasquale. It's uh, better than that. Uh, this is Saturday. I'm uh, got a date with a girl. <laughs> Luigi, I'm so glad to hear this. You finally gonna get out with my daughter, Rosa, huh? No, no, no. I'm going out with a girl. Well, what do you think Rosa is? Don't answer that. Luigi, why don't you go out with Rosa? Well, she's a too fat. Fat, fat, fat. Every time we talk about Rosa, that's all you say. That's all I can see. You want to go out with a girl that's skinny like a toothpick? You go out with Rosa. You get a nice armful. I'm going to go out with Rosa. I get a nice roomful. Oh, it's a no use, Pasquale. A Saturday night, Luigi's going to go out to the movies. Oh, you're going to take this girl to the movies, eh? That'll show how big a greenhorn you are. What's wrong with that? Everything. You go to the movies. What's happening? For three hours, you go look at Clark Gable. And you look at Lana Turner. By the time you come out, you both hate each other. And by the time you come out, you're not talking at all. Besides, Luigi, don't you... Uh, don't you know it's a law against taking an American girl to the movies on the first date? Huh? That's a violation of Emily's poster. Uh, Emily's poster? W what's that? That's like the Saturday evening post. Except only Emily's poster to take care of the rest of the week. Oh, Mamma Mia. It's just so much to learn. But if I'm a no can go to the movies, what else am I going to do with a girl? First date? You gotta take a dancing. That's the American way. Oh, but the Pasquale, you know me. I'm a no can dance. In Italy, all I'm a dance is a tarantella. And if I'm a go to American dance, I'm a just stand around doing a nothing. That's right. You, you what they call a wallflower. Luigi, my Rosa, she's just like you. Oh, she's a wallflower too. Sure. So why you two wallflowers no get married and have a little creeper, huh? Stop, it's uh, no use, Pasquale. Uh, to dance for me is impossible. I, I think I'm gonna take a chance, uh, call up this uh, girl and ask her if she wants to go to the movies. Ooh, oh, you ain't to call her up yet? Uh, no. Oh, Luigi, you ain't to call her this girl yourself, I'm a hope. Well, why not, Pasquale? Oh, if you call her yourself, telephone company call that a personal person call. Cost you twice as much. Besides, uh, she's a lab of what you go to a dancer. Then you're really stuck. Oh, well, Pasquale, what, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? You ought to always do. You holler, help her. Comes Pasquale, Luigi. I gotta call her up for you. Oh, Pasquale, you think if you talk to her, she's a go to a movie with me instead of a dance? Sure. 
I got lots of experience with American girls. I must say, hello, babe. How's about you painting the town red with Luigi? He's a good one for that. He's got a hand like a paintbrush. You see, I make her laugh. She's do anything for you. Oh, well, well that the sounds a fine, Pasquale. Sure, sure. Now, give me her name and telephone number, and I'll call her. Oh, here. Well, and thank you very much, Pasquale. Oh, you a real friend. Sure, sure. Go. Go take a walk. I, there's nothing I wouldn't do for you. Nothing. That's just what I'm going to do for him. Nothing. Hello? Is this a Matilda? My friend, Luigi Basco, is asking me to call you with a, say, he's the no can take you to the movies. Eh? Well, you see, the picture's in Technicolor, and he's a colorblind. That's right. If he go to see that mo picture, yellow sky, to him it all comes out as the Red River. But don't worry, Matilda. Luigi's got a better idea. You like to dance? Ha 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 That's a fine. Luigi is a crazy to dance. And he like to meet you. Saturday night in front of the Aragon Ballroom. You like that? Ha 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 ha. Can he really dance? His whole family dances. Sure, his sister is Gina Kelly. Life with Luigi continues in just a moment. But first, Loretta Young, Robert Cummings, and Wendell Corey will play starring visits to CBS's Lux Radio Theater tomorrow night. And you'll hear them recreating their original motion picture roles in the current psychological screen drama, The Accused. Be sure to hear this tense drama of the police courts tomorrow night on Lux Radio Theater. And now, for the second act of Luigi Bosco in Chicago, we turn to page two of his letter to his mother in Italy. And so, Mamma Mia, tonight is finally come the big night. Pasquale is telling me he fix everything up, and I'm going to take Matilda to the movies. Oh, Mamma Mia, you should see how nice I'm dressed up. I'm looking at fa men's fashion magazine in Tony's Shoe Shine Parlor, and it's to say that the man's clothes should always match. Well, I'm wearing a purple shirt and an orange tie. Also, socks to match. One sock is a purple, the other is orange. <laughs> also, I'm a one to smell good, but there was no aftershave lotion in the medicine chest. So I'm a making my own mixture. I'm a take some cloves, some rubbing alcohol, some oil of wintergreen, glycerin and a rose water, boil the whole thing for 15 minutes, then I add a bottle of a sweet bay from the kitchen and pour the whole thing over myself. Oh, mamma mia, you should have smelled me. Just like a drugstore. <laughs> anyway, I'm standing looking at myself in the mirror when Schulze comes in and... Hello, Luigi. Oh, you're looking good today. Hmm. <laughs> what do I smell? What's the matter, Schultz? Uh, Luigi, was you burning rubber tires in here? <laughs> Open the windows. Let some fresh air in. <laughs> oh, that's better. Uh, Luigi, was, I was just talking to Matilda's mama, and she tells me... The girl is all excited about going dancing with you tonight. Yes, I'm all excited. What, the dancing? But the Pasquale used to call Matilda and tell her I'm going to take her to the movies. Pasquale called? Oh, Luigi, are you a dumbkopf? You know Pasquale is going to shimmel you up with any other girl. Oh, but the why? Why, he asks. Rosa! 
Why should Pasquale help you mid a molehill when he can't get rid of his mountain? Oh, it's a look like my big days fall apart. Oh, I'm not gonna dance. Schultz, uh, maybe you will call up a Matilda and see if she goes to the movies with me, huh? I'd love to, Luigi, but Matilda has already bought a special dress and dancing shoes. Now, Luigi, Luigi, don't be afraid. There's nothing to dancing. It's the same thing like wrestling, o only it's not fixed. No, no, come here, close to me, close to me. Now I show you how, huh? All right, Schultz. Uh, now, uh, now first you take the girl, you hold her close to you like this. Oh, Schultz, uh, please, uh, you squeeze it too hard. Uh, well, that's the way you hold the girl. So tight? Sure, sure so tight. What do you think there is to dancing? Just dancing? Schultz, uh, you're uh, just uh, wasting a uh, time with uh, me. No, no, wait, wait, Luigi. I just got an idea. Why don't you go and take a professional dancing lesson? Huh? Sure, sure. They're going to learn you quick. Why don't you go dance with Arthur Murray? Arthur Murray? Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. No, no, thanks. I, I know a dancer with a man. Oh, what am I going to do with you, Luigi? Arthur Murray's is a dancing school. Here, let me look in the paper. Uh, I'm, I'm going to find it here. I'm uh, going to uh -huh. find it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sure, sure. Here, here. I got it. You see Arthur Murray's dance studio. It is... The magic step you can learn to dance in one lesson. Well, Schultz, uh, you think they can uh, teach me? Well, uh, listen to this. With our beautiful young teachers holding you in their arms, gliding you across the floor, you can learn. Luigi, I just got another idea. What, Schultz? You, you stay here and I'll go. Oh, no, no, Schultz, you, you convinced me. I'm going to go to Arthur Murray right now. Well, Mr. Bosco, that's the simple Arthur Murray one, two, three step. So much for theory. Now, shall we put it into practice? Oh, well, uh, uh, yeah. Charming. Now, just put your arm around me. Put your arm around me. Oh, please, uh, maybe you got to some more theory. Mr. Bosco, if you expect to do any dancing tonight, you'd better start now. Well, all right. Put your arm around me. Like this? Not both arms, just one. Which one? The right one. Put it around me. Well, what are you waiting for? I'm wondering where I should put it. Right here. Now. Now take my other hand and come closer. Like this? Closer. Huh? Closer. Oh, Mama me, if I come any closer, I'm going to be behind you. <laughs> now, I'll just turn on the music. All right. Now, Mr. Bosco, do as I taught you. Lead me. Uh, Miss Burton, I know kind of move. Don't you remember what I told you? Oh, I'm a remember, but I don't think of my feet was a listening. <laughs> oh, just beginner's fright. Just move your legs. There, that's it. Fine. Hey, hey, look at me. I'm a dancing with my own feet. Oh, good. Now, just remember, while we're dancing, keep counting. Ah, one, two, three, oh, I'm one. I remember, I remember. Miss Group Bosco, are you counting? Yep, I'm up to a 96. Oh no, just repeat the steps. One, two, three. Why are you letting go of my hand? Oh, I'm, I got the signal for a turn. Oh, you're not driving a car. Now, hold on to me and turn around. That's the way. Now we dip. 
back, back, back. I guess I a dipper too far back. Oh, Mr. Burton, it's no use. I'm never going to learn in a time to dance tonight. Oh, nonsense, Mr. Bosco. Your girl will be surprised at how well you dance. Now, just let's try again. Gee, Luigi, thanks for taking me to this dance. You're a nice fellow. Well, I, I think you're a nicer too, Matilda. You want a lifesaver? No, thanks. La, 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 da, Well, da. Uh, there, there's uh, five uh, different uh, flavors. Uh, before, uh, you don't uh, want the lemon, uh, but uh, this time it's orange on the top. No, thanks. Da, 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 da. Well, uh, I'll, I'll try you later on the butterscotch. Okay. Oh, gee. If there's anything I like, it's dancing. Well, then, uh, why are we uh, just uh, standing here watching? Before, it was a waltz. Uh, you know want to dance. Uh, then it's a foxtrot. You still know dance. Oh, I'm waiting for my kind of music. <gasps> That's it! That's uh, the music? Oh, yeah! Oh, mamma mia, somebody must be beating the musicians. Let's dance, Luigi! Come on, give me some skin! Uh, skin? Uh, Matilda, wait! But uh, where do I get it from? Don't be a square, listen to that jive! Jive? Oh, read cool! Let's cut the rug! Oh, please, please, no damage to the furniture. What are you waiting for? Let's go, Jackson. Jackson? My name is Luigi. Oh, what happened to this girl? She forget my name. This dance will do me over. Aren't you going to send me? Send you? I got no place to go. Oh, I can't wait. Come on. Hey, no, no, sit down on the floor. Oh, read the Oh, 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 excuse me, lady. I'm, I'm so sorry. Hey, hey, uh, uh, why don't you look down, huh? Oh, uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, please excuse me. Uh, okay, that's it. Uh, Matilda, please. Uh, oh, Luigi, I'm gone. Are you gone? I'm already a went. Oh, come on, Luigi. Shake it. Shake what? Dance like everybody else. Throw me up in the air! Who's gonna catch you when you come down? Don't be a square! Reba, reba! Oh, mama mia, this is America. This is just like a snake pit. Oh, my. Matilda, he, he said the dance over. That's right, Luigi. And then uh, please uh, get off of my shoulder. Boy, Luigi, what a deadbeat you turned out to be. Oh, excuse me, Matilda. I'm going to go wash up a little. I'm going to be right back. Oh, mamma mia, this is a summer place. I'm going to come here on a streetcar. I think I'm going to go home in an ambulance. Luigi, my friend. Hello, Luigi. Hello, hello. Hello, Pas... Hey, Pasquale. What are you doing in this dance hall? Just a passing by. What's the matter with you? Hairs all over your face. Ties are gone. Clothes all messed. What's a happen? You have a fight with a vacuum cleaner? No, Pasquale. I was just dancing with a girl. Oh, and what a girl. She's to jump around like Uncle Pietro's goat after he back into the barbed wire fence. Oh, and how she's a holler. Beat me with a rug. Send me. Tear off some skin, Jackson. Ho, 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 ho. Luigi, you was dancing with a jitterbug. This place is full of jitterbugs. <laughs> jitterbugs. If I'm a know that, I come here with a DDT. Oh, Pasquale, it's all of your fault. You told Matilda I'm going to take her to a dance. Luigi, I didn't know how it was going to turn out. I was only trying to help you. Well, Pasquale, you want to help me? Then you dance with Matilda. I'm going to go home. 
I got a better idea, Luigi. How's it gonna be some other girl that's come over to Matilda and say, pardon me, miss, you dancing with my boyfriend, my fiance. So, how's about you leave him alone before I change the direction of your nose? Pasquale, where am I gonna get a girl who's a do that for me? <laughs> where do you think? I've got just the girl. She also happens to be passing by. Uh, Papa, you will want me? Not yet. Wait until I call you. Rosa! Now? No! Rosa! Now? No! Can't you play harder to get? Rosa! Yes, Papa. Rosa, say hello to Luigi. Oh, hello, Luigi. Oh, hello, Rosa. Rosa, Luigi wants you should do him a little favor. You go over to Luigi's girl and you say, Hey, Pasquale, Matilda is gone. Oh, there she is. She walked away with another fellow. Well, now I'm going to go home, get a pail of hot water, and soak my feet up to my neck. Hey, wait, Luigi. Why are you running? You have a bad time? You should have a little fun. Why are you no relax? Rosa is such a wonderful, nice dancer. Well, she is. Sure. Rosa's so good, they name a big dancer hall after her in New York. It's called Rosaland. She, she dances a waltz, a fox a trot. Luigi, a jive of music. What? Come on, Jackson. Beat me, Daddy, with the floy floy. Oh, Mamma Mia. And so, Mamma Mia, even though it's a spring and I should be walking in the park with the birds, for me it's a turn out the other way. I'm laying here in a bed with the bandages. Don't worry, I'm not to have such a big accident. It's just uh, while I was dancing, Rosa is a fall on me. <laughs> Doctor is saying no bones are broken. It's just that I am suffer from a shock. Anyway. While I'm laying here, I'm thinking things over. And do you know something, Mamma Mia? I think I like this jive, with the re-bop and the be-bop and the shut-up. I think I'm gonna try dancing again. Yes, Mamma Mia, every day, in every way, I'm getting to be more like an American. Your loving son, Luigi Basco, the little immigrant. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production and was written by Mac Benoff and Lou Derman and directed by Mac Benoff. J. Carol Nash is starred as Luigi Bosco with Alan Reed as Pasquale. And now, stay tuned to It Pays to be Ignorant, which follows immediately over most of these same stations. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System. And that was Life with Luigi from March 27th, 1949. Sweet Spring. I'm George Suki, your announcer here with tonight's cast of characters. The man on the dance floor who Luigi bumped into was John Byhun. <laughs> Horowitz, the Jewish immigrant, was played by Herb Thompson. Olsen, the Swedish immigrant, was played by Tom Duggan. <laughs> Miss Burden, the dance teacher, was played by Nell Brennan. <laughs> Miss Spaulding, Luigi's night class teacher, was played by Amy Nieves. Rosa, Pasquale's slow, yet good-natured daughter, was played by Sue Gajinski. <laughs> Mr. 
Matilda, the energetic young jitterbug who wore out Luigi, was played by Allison Byhun. <laughs> Schultz, the German immigrant, was played by Jay Summerfield. <laughs> Pasquale, the scheming spaghetti restaurant owner, was expertly played by Andre Dixon. Luigi, the little Italian immigrant, was played by tonight's director, Jacob Polka. Okay, and keep it going for Marty McNulty, our expert Foley sound effects man. So that's all we have for you tonight. I hope you enjoyed and had a few laughs. I know we did, we enjoyed doing it. Uh, I wanna take a few moments to thank uh, the Riverside Township for allowing us to do this and to supporting our group for so many years. I wanna thank John Gesselmino and Lorenzo Cordova for recording it and getting it up on the web so you can watch it again and again and again. And Andre uh, puts it up on YouTube, so thank him. And Marty wants to plug our website. Yes, uh, Riverside Township RadioPlayers.com has all our information and a link to the YouTube page. So. Great. So go online and visit us. And, um, and now I'd like to turn it over to next month's director, maybe, Jay Summerfield, to tell you something about next month. Hello. Well, one thing I can tell you about next month is it's April. <laughs> and next month on Friday, April 27th at 7.30 p.m. right here on our stage, we have two comedies. Uh, one is called Take a Letter, Darling, and it stars Cary Grant and Rosalind Russell. And uh, you can think about who's taking a letter for whom in that one. And then the other one is The Magnificent Montague, starring Monty Woolley. Called, uh, the episode is called Lost in Hollywood. And I'm not going to say anything else. I'll tell you more on April 27th when we put on those two shows. I hope it's a little warmer by then. Um, and we're not going to do the Abbott and Costello this year. I know. <laughs> Thank you all for coming, and uh, be careful going home. <laughs> <laughs>